So how are we doing out there, buddy? Uh, Matthew back with you again. Um, you can see behind me it's a nice, uh, yeah, use this guy. It's a nice, beautiful, rainy day, rainy day here. Uh, we got a, a front, uh, uh, something going through. It's supposed to have like 50 mile an hour sustained winds and, uh, horrible like three, four inches of rain. Doesn't really mean anything to me, so. But anyway, I'm sitting here in a little work area. Um, I have the Pontiac pretty much 99.9% done. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. I've got to paint the door handles. Um, and yeah, paint the door handles. And of course, dogs. I don't know if they think I start talking to myself and they decide to play, or... So I start making a video, they start romping, so, sorry guys. Um, there's some cars that just do not want to be what you want it to be, no matter how bad you want it to be that, it will not be that. And this car is one of those cars. I tried so hard to make it be what I wanted it to be. And it just wouldn't be that. I used um, this splash, uh, which I can't pronounce, Beluga Black. There's three quarters of a bottle left in this one. I don't know if you can see it there. This is the third bottle, and the car has been stripped uh, twice. One, well, no, once I can remember. Right now, it's got primer, black primer, and then now it's got this black over top of all that. So. It just wanted to be something totally different, and so I just ended up having to follow what it wanted to be, and so now that's what it wanted to be. It just wanted to be a, and it, it, I guess, so, and then, um, as far as the Cadillac, um, I have the motor. The motor is uh, that far, and as Chris says, I have the rabbit ears up there, which looks really stupid. So, and of course, it's not even showing anything up. I'm gonna quit on the Cadillac for right now because there's no way I'm gonna get that done before I'm gonna go ahead and finish the car. That's my that's still my that's still my build. Don't get worried. I'm not just boxing it. Well, I'm gonna box it, but it'll this still will be my next build. There's uh, no way I'm gonna get that done by January 9th. Yes, I could, but it's not gonna be what I want. It's not gonna be as Hunter would say. It's not gonna be to my standards. I'll use a quote from Hunter. So, it is just too, it's too close. I mean, I've got a matter of days now. And there's still a pile of plastic just laying over here. And the body's still just, still just a body. You know, it's still just. So, but what I am going to do, now I've been putting this off for a while. And this video is starting to get a little bit long, but. I've been putting it off for a while. I think you've all seen my past videos. My wife has this huge sewing table that I built her behind. And it, this room is like 24 feet long and 12 feet wide. And all it's here is my little bench area. And it's big sewing table. So I'm going to move the sewing table all the way to the wall. Sliding glass door. There's no real wall. Sliding glass door on the far side and over which will gain me another two feet and then i'm going to migrate my work area uh, another two feet which will then let me put a 
two foot workbench down this side over here so essentially I will now have a, a u-shaped workbench uh, more around the corners off inside the corners so I can actually like roll my chair up and work in the corners my big fat belly will fit like right in the corner and I think I'm gonna put the spray booth over in the corner here and I may just put my vent right through the wall so I don't have to keep opening the window and putting a thing in there and we'll see about that so I, I already started with the CAD program and uh, so drawing it out but I want to get it drawn out and uh, figure out what I have to go back to, to the little cabinet shop I got the little cabinet shop the little 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 shop I have nothing like the big one and uh, figure out what I gotta make for in here and uh, redo my area so then once that's done I'll go back to the Cadillac and I'm gonna try to have another camera at the spray booth <clears throat> and I may just try doing some you guys let me know what you think. Do some videos of Pytus not me talking. It'll just be like full build videos. Fast forwarded. Just camera here. And if I have to paint, it'll just cut and go to that camera. And it'll just, you know, and then back and so you guys let me know about that. So I'm right after seven minutes. I'm gonna cut this, reposition the camera get it angled on that instead of me and I'll show you the car real quick okay so here we are back um you can see it's not the pretty shiny gloss black car I promised and this looks like a piece of crap and apparently it's an AMKT kit and that's what I wanted to be so we have one of the little chrome things here the other one's missing well, some slaying here is not missing, but of course the whole theme is missing. Grills all scratched pieces. Got some rust on it. Tires are all muddied up. Cars all rusted and paint worn through. Bumpers all jacked up like it's been smacked into something. I guess it all goes along with the theme I guess that I already have with the interior and the undercarriage so like Chris said at um, Diablo's workshop if you you know if you got lemons just make lemonade so I got a 55 gallon drum of lemonade here I got I gotta do the license plates yet the little door lock and the doorknobs so I was hoping my wife would drink a Pepsi last night so I could have the pop can for the license plates because I'm going to put the decals on a piece of pop can and then I can, once I tack them on there, then I can bend the license plates all up and, and they'll look authentic. The, uh, you can see the stem right there. I have the stem for the um, rear view mirror and then the the rear view mirror is laying on the dash. It just broke off and it's stuck on the dash. And then the headliner. The headliner is hanging down inside the car. So we got that hanging down like it fell. How the old cars, the headliner lights loose and drops down. So we have that. Which I'm not getting a very good view of it, but we have that and there's a, the roof of the car I got some more rust starting to bubble up starting to come up and then there's the trunk and the hood area some more rust started to bubble up on that and as you can see the hood fits like an AMT car Some of these really actually, some AMTs I really like, others I really hate. 
up until the body on this one, I really liked it. But once I got to the body, I really hated it. I mean, it had so much potential when it was down in here. It looked so, so nice. And I'm going to leave the breathers off. Just to add more to my junkness of it. So the breathers will be left off. And then, of course, you all seen the the underside, but <clears throat> there's the of course we're out of focus now. There's the underside. Exhaust is all eat up with rust and burnt through. And I told you this exhaust pipe over here burn off and broke off the other one broke off back in the bend under the under the rear end so yeah it's so that's what I wanted to be guys so that's what it is so that'll be the final final on the 62 and uh, we're gonna leave it at that and I'm not sure if I'll go to the show now in Jaxcon <clears throat> since I only have the two the two cars or not I don't know if I'll make it there or or not guys um just why well, I stopped it before it's not I was a, so I'm not sure if I'll go or not because I'm going to have the two cars so I have this one in the truck and Stuff like this never really does very good, so it'll probably depend on my wife if she makes me go or if she lets me stay home or if I'm in the middle of this or or not whether I go. So, but that's the the final on the 62. And thanks for watching. I'm sorry the video is a little long, but I'll get it put together here and get it up for you. And we'll see you back when when we're in the middle of something. So. Have fun, stay tuned, and bye-bye for now.